Hello everyone, welcome to Devrat Knowledge Villa. You are watching our English video series of computer network and learning basics of computer network. Today we are going to discuss protocol. So let's start. If we will discuss about the human communication. So how humans are communicating with each other whenever they are starting the communication so like they are starting with I and uh, someone whom is communicating is uh, replying with hello. So then after they start their detailed communication. Look like in place of hi and hello someone is using good morning and another one can say that very good morning and so on. So then after they will come into the actual topic like uh, this guy want to ask the time uh, to uh, someone so he will ask like what's the time and suppose she is reply, replying to this guy about the timing so she will say it's 10 am so that is all about the how humans are going to communicate with each other so there is specific kind of fashion or uh, specific trends uh, to communicate with each other. If we will look about the computer network, so how devices are going to communicate with each other. So see here, suppose uh, this device want to start the communication with another device. So this device will put a TCP connection request. And same thing whatever the device will receive this request if another device want to communicate with this device so this device will accept this request and reply the TCP connection this formula is known as a connection establishment we will also discuss in detail during the three-way hand shaking for the communication but uh, till that moment keep in mind this thing is known as a connection establishment whatever the device want to start the communication that particular device will make a TCP connection request and another device will reply this TCP connection request. So after establishment of connection they will start communicating with each other. Suppose this device want to access uh, any video file from uh, any web. So the device will make a request with the get method. Get method is used to get a data. Get it? And same thing, another device will reply with the video file. Whatever it should be like audio file, video file, any type of data file. Get it? So these are the trends in communication of device with each other in terms of computer network. So now we are going to define the protocol so after uh, viewing this example uh, hope you will be able to understand the definition of protocol we can say that protocol is a set of rules that governs data communication it means protocol allowing the data communication in computer network how protocol is allowing this data communication so First, that is a format of message. It means like in terms of uh, human communications, uh, we are uh, saying that uh, in terms of morning time, we are uh, saying good morning. In terms of uh, afternoon time, we are uh, saying good afternoon. In terms of evening, we are saying good evening. So these are the format at which time what we call. Same thing in terms of uh, data communication in computer network there is a specific format of data like whenever we are uh, generating a mail so we are write dear sir respected sir same thing in terms of computer network there is a specific format to start the data communications like we have discussed gate method so for getting a message we are using gate method so that is one format. Another thing order of message exchange it means which message will uh, transmitted first 
which message will transmitted next or which message will transmitted last so there is a order of message whenever entire message is going to be divided in uh, uh, smaller different different packets so uh, there is need to decide uh, the order of uh, packets we will discuss in detail in terms of packet switching also next thing that is action taken on transmission it means uh, whenever there is uh, we are going to start the transmission whenever we are uh, going to stop the transmission uh, suppose uh, any higher priority data will arrive so we will allow that uh, data to communicate first and uh, we will keep lower prior priority data into the back side so this thing is all about the action action taken on transmission like some of the security parameters next thing that is a uh, receipt of message in terms of a uh, receipt uh, it will uh, give a uh, written message like your message is received get it like in terms of postal service uh, whenever uh, we are sending a, uh, one uh, postal courier to someone another so uh, again uh, we are getting a receipt like uh, your courier is delivered or your cover is delivered get it same thing here uh, there is a received message in network like whenever you are sending a message uh, to someone in whatsapp so you are getting blue arrows that is a receipt of message read like uh, whom you are going to send the message that uh, person read your message it's called a receipt of message next we will discuss key elements of protocol so for for doing this all functionalities in protocol there are uh, three key elements of protocol first that is syntax what do you mean by syntax syntax is uh, representing the structure of message it means uh, here uh, we have discussed like format of message so how message uh, should look like in terms of structure like whenever we are sending a mail so we are writing header uh, then after we are writing subject uh, then up uh, then after uh, we are uh, writing entire message at last we are writing thank you message or uh, your faithfully and so on so these are the structure of formatting uh, formation of mail same thing in terms of data communication there is a specific structure of bits here a uh, computer will understand in terms of zeros and one so there is a specific format of this bits or also there is a reading of bit whenever a computer is reading the bit so it is uh, going to read the bit by using the syntax next element that is semantic semantic uh, represent the meaning of bits look like a uh, here we are going to take the example of digital signal so digital signals is representing zeros and ones so there is a specific meaning of this digital signal so uh, it is uh, for the uh, defining uh, which action is going to be taken also in terms of semantics next element that is timing so it will uh, it will uh, specify the at which time data is going to be set or when data is going to be sent so here there is a three key elements we have discussed syntax semantics and timing in short we can say that syntax syntax is representing uh, what data is going to be communicate semantics is representing uh, how data is going to be communicate and timing represent when data is going to be communicate if you have any query regarding to the protocol you can write your comment on comment box thanks for watching devrat knowledge villa